Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will tell you the step-by-step -step procedure for registering your DSC on MCA V3 portal. Just follow this video completely and each and every step provided in this particular video in order to get your DSC registered on MCA V3. Before starting the video, if you are new on my channel, then do subscribe to this channel for more such content. So firstly, for registering your DSC, you must have login valid credentials. And how to make your login ID and password by registering on MCA V3? I have made a separate video for that. You can just check it out. I will provide the link in description by the help of which you will be able to register yourself on MCA V3. Now, after having your login ID and password, you are eligible to register your DSC, which is mandatory before filing any form on MCA portal. So the first step is to come on the MCA V3 portal and fill your login id and password and click on login button so the next step after registering on mca portal is to come on mca services and go on fo services then associate dsc when you click on associate dsc this kind of interface will be shown now there are three essentials which you must fulfill before clicking on associate dsc Firstly, you have to download and install latest DSC WebSocket installer for which you just have to click on this link and it will be installed in your system, which is none other than EM Signer. Secondly, you have to install and download mBridge by clicking on the second link. After downloading and installing these two softwares, you have to make sure that your DSC's pin must be changed. That means it should not be default pin which you got after making your dsc it must be changed for one time like for new users it must be changed from the default pin and your dsc pin is none other than your dsc's password right also make sure that after downloading and installing both the softwares they must be running properly in your pc or laptop whatever you are using then you have to click on associate dsc because if they are not running properly, then there is a high probability that you will be facing problems in the next steps of the video. Also, if you face any kind of problem after installing such softwares, you can just restart your system to clear the temporary issues. Now that you have installed all the necessary softwares and also attach your DSC with the system, which you want to register, only then you will be able to see your details regarding your token and certificate. Simply you have to choose your token which will look like e-pass and something and then your certificate details will involve your name on the DSC and then password of your DSC which must be changed one time as I have told already. Now you have to click on register. So if you have registered your DSC on the very first time on your login id and password then you will get the message of congratulations your dsc has been registered with this particular din or membership number from whichever role you have registered but if you have already registered your dsc one time before and maybe so many times and you are again registering it then you will get the message of updating your dsc and you have to click on yes if you want to go ahead with registration now once you have registered your DSC and you just want to check it if it has been registered or not then you have to go to your my profile on MCA portal which is uh, available in the right side corner of the MCA portal from where you can see all the details regarding your DSC uh, registered with your DIN, PAN number and all other details from where you can get your all the details regarding DSC registration. So if you have followed all the steps prescribed in this particular video, then you must be able to register yourself with your DSC on MCA portal. But still, if you are facing any kind of issues or errors, then the steps that I provide now, please check them out that if you have done it completely or not. So the first thing is after installing your Embridge and EM Signer, if they are not working properly, then you must uninstall these softwares and then install again. You can do one more thing to restart your system if you are facing any glitch or other temporary problems. 
and if you are facing any issue regarding screen freezing after clicking on associate dsc then you must check out that you have changed your dsc's password or not because that is very important otherwise you will not be able to register your dsc so these are the major issues that are faced at the time of registration of dsc still if you are having any kind of query you can freely ask in comment box and i will try to resolve it that's all for this video hope you liked it don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more such content thanks for watching